Hey everyone, uh, it's a full just be a short one because I'm sort of just reacting to events that have just happened. I've just woken up, turned the news on, and found out that. So, as I was saying in, my, in, in other videos, the state of in Britain is that we're basically Parliament's been shut down by the Prime Minister. Par essentially, Parliament took power away from the government so that the Parliament could rule, and then the Prime Minister shut Parliament down so that it couldn't govern, yeah. And he was trying to claim he was doing it for Queen's speech or something. So this went to a court in Scotland, and the court in Scotland said, you, you, you've basically lied to the Queen about why you're doing this, yeah. So then he appealed that, so it's gone to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court's just given its ruling today, right, and it's fucking devastating, man, for, for, for Boris Johnson. <laughs> So, so everything's been fought out in the courts because essentially what happened is th there's no other avenue for any <coughs> for anything to happen in the country because everything's been shut down. So the government's been shut down, parliament's been shut down. The only avenue that can make a ruling on on law is the judiciary, is the court system. So it's been fought out in the courts. So essentially. Supreme Court have just come back and they've said that Boris Johnson lied to the Queen. Right, that in itself, just that, just that alone, right, is, um, that is, I can't imagine a more, a, a bigger fucking scandal to happen within a country. The Queen is the head of state. The Queen is the head of the fucking religion. She's, she's like, in any apex of the country, she's right at the top. Do you know what I mean? And and you, as Prime Minister, are lying to the Queen in order to push through things that you want to happen in the country. I mean, this is ridiculous. We're support, we, we claim that like we're a country based on the rule of law, right here. And you've got a Prime Minister who's just making up what he wants to do. He's not following any of the laws. He's just making it up. He's just ad-libbing and making shit up, yeah? <laughs> And because he, because his power as Prime Minister comes through the Queen, do you know what I mean? Like, he's essentially the Queen's representative within Parliament, is the Prime Minister. It's Her Majesty's government, do you know what I mean? It's the government of the, of the Queen in this country. And he's lying to her, right? That, in, that enough to be, to, to, that is enough to resign, do you know what I mean? Right? That alone is such a big scandal that any other Prime Minister would resign. But it's got much, much worse for him today, right? So not as, only as he being accused of lying, the Supreme Court has come back and said that him shutting down Parliament for such a long time, for five weeks, constitutes a breaking of the law. She, she said it was unlawful, right? So right now, Parliament's coming back. Every, all this shit's ended, and now Parliament's going to come back. And so I'm assuming that Parliament's going to start running the country and start passing laws and shit, and it's the only one who's got any power to do that. And when you look at it, right, I mean, like, so he's just been told that he's a criminal, right? So we've now got a Prime Minister who's a fucking criminal and a liar. Anybody else would resign, but, like, Boris has just come on. Oh, I'm not going to resign. Of course I'm not. I'm going to carry on. Eh? Now, have you got no fuck? What the fuck? You've just been called a liar by the highest court in the land. You've just been called a criminal by the highest court in the land. And you're just going to carry on as if nothing's happened. The fucking balls of this man. Do you know what I mean? Like, whatever. He totally don't give a fuck, does he? He just does not give a fuck about anything. Rule of law, rip it up. Laws of Parliament, rip it up. Constitution, rip it up. But he's not bothered. He just does whatever the fuck he wants. So, so the thing is that, like... We're in a situation where the government can't govern. Now we're going to go back. So it's now about what, what is Boris going to do? What, what is his name? All right, if you're not going to fucking resign, what are you going to do? Right, do you know what I mean? And the thing is that, like, the Queen can't ask Jeremy Corbyn to form the government because there needs to be a no confidence vote in the House of Commons first. So that, that might be the next step. That might, I mean, Jeremy Corbyn might or Joe Swindon or somebody might put a no confidence vote in him and if he loses that vote and he's got no majority so we would assume that he probably would lose that vote and then if that happens then we can form a new government 
and we can carry on from this. But the thing is that the, the status quo right now, it's, 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 it's not acceptable. This is, this is not the way that you fucking run countries. Do you know what I mean? You don't have criminals and liars running the country. Get, he needs, to, oh, fuck me man, just fucking resign, fuck's sake. But no, we get dragged through this shit. And the thing is, right, all this shit is happening in this country when what should be happening is we should be sorting Brexit out. We're getting closer day by day, getting closer to this fucking cliff edge. And that's what should be sorted out in this country. But no, no, we have to take the Prime Minister to court. Do you know what I mean? And then he just has to go, yeah, I don't care if I'm a criminal and a liar. I'm just carrying on. Whatever. Just get rid of this fucker. Let's get Jeremy Corbyn into power. <laughs> Let's get on with sorting this country out.